Welcome all. This is another video in topology series. In this, we'll see what is component, and we'll see the local connectedness of topological space. So let us start with the definition of component. If X is a topological space, then if we define a relation by taking X equivalent to Y, if there exists a connected subspace of X containing both X and Y, then this is equivalence relation and the equivalence classes are called as components or connected components of space X. Now we'll see how it is equivalence relation. The two properties symmetry and reflexivity are quite clear and for transitivity let us consider A is connected subspace of X containing X and Y and B is another connected subset of X containing Y and Z. Then as A union B will be union of two connected spaces it will be connected and it will contain X and Z. So as X is equivalent to Y and Y is equivalent to Z x will be equivalent to z as well. So in this way the relation defined is equivalence relation and the equivalence classes are connected components of space x. Now there is one theorem regarding these components. The theorem states that the components of x are connected disjoint subspaces of x whose union is x such that each non-empty connected subspace of x intersects only one of them. So we will prove this as the components are equivalence classes so they will form the partition of x and thus all the components are disjoint and the union will be equal to x so let us consider a to be connected subspace of x such that it intersects the components c1 at some point x1 and c2 at point x2 now as x1 and x2 belongs to a and a is connected x1 will be equivalent to x2 by the definition of equivalence relation this means c1 is equal to c2 since x1 is equivalent to x2 and x1 lies in c1 so x2 has to be in c1 what does this mean c2 lies in c1 and similarly we can show that c1 also lies inside c2 and thus c1 should be equal to c2 now let us name this c1 or c2 to be equal to some c now we are only remaining to show that this component c is connected so for this choose some x0 in c then for each point x in C, x0 will be equivalent to x by definition of equivalence relation. So there will exist connected subspace AX of C which contains x and as x is equivalent to x0, AX will contain x0 as well. And as AX is subspace of C for particular x, for all x in C there will exist many such AX which are disjoint and connected subspaces of C. And therefore, C is equal to union of AX for X belonging to C. And all these AX are connected. So, C has to be connected. Since it is the union of connected subspaces and have common point X0 in it. 